Pisces, welcome to Weekly Tarot Forecast for the week of July 6th. We just had that incredible lunar eclipse, so hopefully some of that fatigue, that irritability, those crazy dreams will start to ebb out. But know that the transformations and the changes that are taking place are going to be felt for about six months. So do your best to ground, to clear out, take those sea salt baths, to spend a little bit more time in meditation. Just decompress all that emotional energy out, especially you, my beautiful Pisces. Now, right after this, I am going to be doing the weekly love forecast for Pisces. I just started doing that. We're going to be doing every week, all 12 signs, the weekly love forecast for all of you. So if you're interested, the links for that is down below. I'm going to be doing that via Vimeo. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message. Now, this general reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So check all three. And if this is your first time watching me, I hope this serves you. If it does, please like, subscribe, comment down below. I really appreciate it. Or please just share it with somebody you feel this can serve. All right, there's my spiel. All right, Pisces, let's get started. <sighs> let's see. I was just saying this in the other readings. It's always so interesting to see how the water signs, the earth signs, all of you guys always have, even though everyone's reading is different, you guys have very similar themes. And it's it's such a incredible phenomenon to witness. <sighs> Let me guide this energy of Pisces for the week of July 6th. <laughs> it makes me laugh, I swear. And a theme for the week. Okay. Seven of Wands, Page of Cups, The Lovers, The Magician, The Eight of Wands, The Justice Card, Three of Swords, King of Coins. Theme of the week is The Empress and The Nine of Swords. Okay, Pisces. Now this is about not settling, Pisces. This is about standing up for what you need emotionally in your relationships. Now, these relationships can be friendships or platonic or even familial. But when you have the lovers here and the page of cups, mm, it tends to be more friendships or love. But when you have the seven of wands right out the gate, Pisces, this is about having confidence in yourself, knowing your worth, making sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who value you, love you, understand you, see you, reflect back to you, your spirit and your heart. And that includes in your romantic relationships and don't settle for less. This week, it's extremely important about really cultivating and, and even manifesting some of these relationships. So if you're like, Angelique, I don't have a partner like that, or I don't have friends like that, that I can really rely on that really understand me. That's okay. It's better to be alone for the right reasons than with somebody for the wrong or with a group of people. So recognize where you kind of have to have stronger boundaries in your relationships, Pisces. And you know what? You can have a friend for 50 years or 40 years or even five years and you change and no longer resonates. And that goes with romantic relationships as well. We have the magician card. So this is really you standing up for yourself, not settling in those relationships and, and, cre and manifesting this for yourself. It's time to get back out there, Pisces. It's time for you to seek out your tribe, seek out that soulmate energy because there's an imbalance a little bit in your life. Don't worry about it. We all come across it. But it's really a time of emotional focus for you, which is good. We just had that lunar eclipse. So for many of us, especially my watery signs, relationships, emotions, they're going to be up front and center. So it's really making sure that you're being quite conscious of the people that you surround yourself with. And if you are feeling a little defensive in your relationships, just step back for a second, Pisces, and ask yourself, okay, am I just being you know, a little emotional because of the moon, all these phases, or is this something that's really non-negotiable? Like, no, you don't talk to me like that. You don't treat me like that. This is my boundary. You don't cross it. You know, we all need those moments, no matter what sign we are, because the emotions are transient. They change. So making sure that, yes, stand your ground, absolutely have confidence and, and, and speak for yourself, but also recognizing, okay, this is true, but I was maybe a little defensive here. You know, just understanding that. The Eight of Wands here. So this is actually about you. So whenever we stand in our power, we tell the universe through our words, but especially through our actions, this is what I want. 
Okay, this is what I don't want. And as a result, Eight of Wands says you're going to start, things are going to shake and move. A lot of important conversations are going to be taking place for you this week. Pisces, don't worry. You're going to be releasing what doesn't work for you, and you're going to be attracting in the right people, the right friendships, the right soul tribe, Pisces. We have the Justice card here. I'm not going to lie. When we have the Three of Swords next to it, I can see why you might be a little defensive this week. You might have found some things out this week, Pisces, that were happening behind your back, you know, um, secrets. You might have recognized something that, whoa, like was way out of balance. And this is why you're defensive too. So I, I want to give you some credit here. Like, no, no, no. Like something, you know, when we have the justice card too, something's out of balance. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to speak up for yourself. You're going to have to fight the good fight. But you're not doing it maliciously, Pisces. You're not doing it out of vindictiveness. You're doing it because hell no. This is what I deserve and this is what I don't deserve. This is what I'll accept and this is what I won't accept. And while your actions definitely hurt me and definitely were not called for, don't think I'm going to roll over. I know, you know, people always think Pisces is so emotional. They're, you guys are the most psychic sign, deeply feeling. And, 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 oh, so sensitive. Have you seen an ocean? Have you seen the calamity it can lay waste to? You're a force, Pisces. And this is not about getting back at the other person. This is about, I love myself and respect myself. And even if you don't, or if you don't respect whatever you respect self or others, not on my, not on my watch, not with me. And you're speaking up. So you do that. Whenever we have the justice card too, Pisces, things are going to turn out in your favor. It's a good for you. Also, when we have the justice cards, if any of this is leading to any legal battles, legal separations, it could be in business partners or real, real partners. This will also work out in your favor. Understand when you have the king of coins, if there is any finances involved in any of, of this fight, Pisces, it's going to definitely be in your favor. And if you need finances, maybe you're like, screw this, I'm moving out. Um, it can even be a roommate. The money will come up. This is the Midas touch. Financial new career opportunities. The universe is going to provide salaries, promotions, raises, everything you need, boo. You got it. The universe has your back to make the changes that are always a reflection of your self love and your self respect. The theme of the week is the Empress and the Knight of Swords. Don't you dare be afraid to create again, to start again, to create a new. When you have the Empress, this is about birthing new realities. Maybe this is exactly what you want. Screw it. The other things are limiting you. Now you can create a life you want, a love you want, a happiness you want. This is really about acting on your plans. The Nine of Swords is saying, don't worry. I know that they, they know that there are some things to be scared about here, but your worry is unnecessary. Surrender everything to the vine and only focus on the end result. Winning that court case, having that job, that healthy relationship, that house, whatever it is, focus there and you shall have it. You must surrender the stress. Just act. Take action. And focus on the creativity, the life that's to be birthed anew through all of this. New friendships, new love, new happiness, new opportunity, Pisces. Now, I know that can seem a little dreary, but it doesn't mean to be. This You want, you know, I'd rather have an ugly truth than a pretty lie, right? Any other guidance for cancer? I mean, I'm sorry, I'm Pisces for all of this. Solutions. Now, this is about, if, if any of you guys here, this doesn't have to be dirty. This doesn't have to be, this is about the card of forgiveness, but it's the card of compromise, objectivity. We you know success is going to come through compromise. So we have the justice card here. So if any of this leads to any kind of legal battles, you're going to be fine and you're going to find a good middle ground. If this is um, a friendship or any relationship you really want to salvage because you feel it wasn't, you know, compromise. But you will, but to have that middle ground with this person is also we're going to require patience, self control, and forgiveness. So just understand that it all goes in with that healing aspect of any of these relationships here. But if you're like, you know what, I can forgive, but I can't forget, well, then that's your compromise. Um, I will not, you know, stab or slash your tires. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. That's my Scorpio self jumping in there. Um, but this is six, finding success through compromise. So it doesn't have to be dirty. I think this is perfect for you, Pisces. Standing up, finding peace, cut right down the middle, move forward, find answers that way. You got this. You guys got this. This lunar eclipse is really ripping off band-aids where, you know, things just have to, you know. Anything that's done in the dark always comes to light, boo-boo. All things balance. And this, this is your victory. You got this. Stand Pisces. I hope this serves you. I'm now going to be moving on to your love forecast for this week. Again, the link will be down below. Otherwise, guys, if you like a more in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, a healing session, my link is down below.
Otherwise, have a great week, and I will see you next week for next week's readings. Take care.